Visitors to Canberra's Parliament House on Monday afternoon will have noticed a bit of a draft coming out of the Labour Party room. And no, it wasn't the flapping of dubs of peace. They will take a very long time to come back to roost. And it probably wasn't just a whiff of stale air accompanying the expulsion of the nasty and indeed noxious Senator Mark Arbib, who's decided he's going as well as he can with all the dignity he can muster. It was more likely a huge collective sigh of relief. Once again, they've bought themselves a bit of time, just a bit, but it may be time enough for a miracle to happen. And, of course, there's always the chance that the real Julia Gillard this time will stand up with a bit of clear air and space to operate in. The problem is, of course, that we've seen the real Julia so many times and the public just doesn't seem interested. We saw yet another real Julia during the leadership contest. This was the hard woman, the no more Mr Nice Girl. She was going flat out, she was telling it like it is, she was playing it on the line. The problem is, of course, all the things that she laid on the line were the wrong things, not the good things Labor was doing right, but the bad things they once did wrong. And it could be argued that's not terribly helpful. But at least this time round she will be spared, for the moment at least, the distraction of Kevin Rudd. Rudd has pledged loyalty, and it's a pledge born out of necessity. If Rudd did attempt any further destabilisation within the Labour Party, his colleagues would hang him up by his thumbs and lash him with bull's pizzles, so this is unlikely to happen. But it's also unlikely to be permanent. Rudd is still on the back bench, radiating availability. And while he'll shut up, his followers may not. And the polls, of course, won't stay still. The noticeable thing about the polls during the leadership challenge was that Labor's vote actually improved, while Julia Gillard's popularity plummeted. And the only logical explanation for this is that the punters were hoping and even expecting a return of Kevin Rudd. It hasn't happened so far, but there's a year and a half to go before the next elections and Rudd is still there. While he is still there, it's not over. Parliament's just not big enough for both of them. I'm Mungo McCallum. Now back to bed. <laughs>